Hi guys, my name is Amy and you're watching Health Focus. This is the last month of the year 2023 and if you've not been with us anyway, where have you been? And this is a platform where we talk about everything health. This last month of the year, we are going to do much of the learning in most common conditions in healthcare and anything that you'll want to know. Let's comment down below on what you want to be discussed and it has not been addressed before. You are all welcome. Uh, what are we discussing today? We have a condition that is most prevalent in the world, not even in the country, and it comes second in the country in all the time. Whenever we go to a hospital, the most common condition you'll be having is the upper respiratory tract infection. But now there is the second one, the urinary tract infections. At one point in time, most of the ladies and men, a few of them, have been diagnosed with a UTI. And so many people don't know whether UTI is an STI, is it a condition, how do we get it, how do we treat it, how do we prevent it, wait here. This is where we are, that's what we are talking about. When you talk about a UTI or a urinary tract infection, is any infection coming down from the kidneys to the bladder and to the uh, urethra where urine comes out. And that is the urinary system. The urinary system begins from the kidneys where urine is uh, created and then it's stored in the bladder down from the kidneys it flows to the bladder it is stored for you to say now let me go empty my bladder it passes through the urethra so anytime there is an infection in that area that is what is called a urinary tract infection and statistics show that 90 percent of the conditions in the country are majorly urinary tract and we have more women than men most of the reason why most women get the urinary tract infection is because of the distance the distance of the urethra and the rectum let me explain this further in a language that every layman can understand first of all what causes a uti every human being has the cells that cause a uti on their skin and there is a bacteria that is most common it's called e coli and if you're not a medic, you will not know this thing, but most medics understand Escherichia coli. This is a bacteria that is found in the lower bowel, the large intestine and the rectum. That is their residence. That is where they stay. So in any time that this bacteria has moved from the rectum to the urethra, it will climb up onto the tract system and cause a urethritis, an inflammation of the urethra. If it goes to the bladder, it causes an inflammation in the bladder. It is called cystitis. It might go up to the kidneys and even cause kidney stones. So any inflammation along the tract, it will be a urinary tract infection. So that is what causes the UTI. A bacteria that is on your skin or around your skin, finding its way onto the urethra, climbing up, causing an inflammation. That is what basically a UTI is about. So, somebody will pose a question and ask, can your sexual partner give you UTI? No. No and no. Only that, a UTI is a bacteria caused. So, in the, around the urethra, in case there is a, a, an irritation or contact, it might be pushed to whichever area it will find its way. So, a UTI is not a sexually transmitted infection again if you are doing this other sexual activity where it is rectal sexual activity if the e coli finds itself at the tip of the urethra of a penis that way it will find its way climbing up to the urethra so you'll get a uti is it sexually transmitted no you put yourself into the place where normal flora was so it found a place to sit and when it found a place to sit what did it do it caused an inf infection so what will show you that you have a uti these are the symptoms 
you can self-diagnose even at home. Number one, you'll have pain on the lower abdomen, just pain. And then there is fever. And then there is vomiting. And then pain when passing urine. Then sometimes you'll have blood in urine. And then urine is smelling very bad. And then the, 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 the urine is cloudy. When you look at it, if it's not having blood, it's cloudy. This is not all the symptoms together, but these are the things you can do yourself at home and you can see them. If it progresses, you will have an extreme back pain and then high fevers and then even it can lead to shock if the bacteria, if the infection is very, very high. So what are you supposed to do in case you feel that you have a UTI? Get it to see your physician. If you want to see the best doctor for urinary tract infection, you get to see a urologist if you are a male and see a gynecologist if you are female. But any physician should be able to manage a UTI from the primary healthcare level to the tertiary organization. The best way to manage a UTI is early diagnosis. The most best way is prevention. How do you prevent getting a UTI? Remember I've told you and I'll say again, UTI is not an STI. So stop stigmatizing when a young child tells you or is diagnosed with a, a UTI and then you start saying that this child is sexually active because that is what is happening in the society currently. Can you have a recurrent UTI? Yes, absolutely yes. Number one, if you don't finish your treatment, if you don't take hygiene so seriously, and if you don't wipe the rectum in the right way, and if you keep on introducing your urethra to a bacteria causing area. For example, you don't keep hygiene properly, you don't hydrate properly. When you drink water, the urine that sits on your bladder is meant to get out because that is, uh, that is waste. Any place where there is waste, it turns out to harm you. So drink enough water to clean your bladder. And do not hold your bladder if it is full. Empty it out because those, those, those toxins might sit there and end up making you have a UTI. What else do you want to know about the UTI? Get a comment down below. A urologist will be coming on this platform to educate us more about the management, the best way. But remember, prevention is better than cure. Take a lot of water, empty your bladder, be hygienic, wash your hands, and again, something I forgot to talk about. For anybody who does masturbation, and yes, I said masturbation, you are predisposing yourself to having that UTI. Because remember I said, this bacteria is found in any skin of a human being. So the moment you touch areas that has a urethra, it's going to have a UTI. Thank you so very much. Take care of yourself. And let's have again another discussion next week.